be the last time Key West. It's nice. Hi, I'm Lucky Dube from South Africa. Welcome to Reggae Strong. A regular TV show like this could be called Reggae Week. But Reggae Not Week. Reggae Strong. Welcome to Reggae Strong. Lucky Dube is our guest this strong as he enjoys a second tour of the US. What I want is reggae in South Africa and over and above all people get into reggae because they see that reggae is one kind of music that's got a message. People want to pass the message to the people and I think it's through reggae people understand reggae better than any other kind of music you know and so that's why I think a lot of bands in South Africa are recording reggae.
things were happening you say because when as soon as I came back from here I recorded this new album called uh, Prisna and I've done a movie and you know a lot of things have been happening for me which movie did you do was it a horror horror flick you mentioned <laughs> no I, I couldn't I couldn't do the the horror you know <laughs> because it became so expensive in South Africa we can't do a movie like that and so we just made a um, a musical thriller with, with John Savage of The Deer Hunter and James Ryan and them. We just made a, 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 a yeah, it's a musical thriller because we couldn't get into that serious tra uh, serious stuff like Draculas and all that like I wanted to. But really, I really would like to make one horror movie, very scary one. I heard a little rumor that you got in a misunderstanding with some people in South Africa over a performance you did? Yeah, well, I think it happened just uh, immediately after I came back. I heard they spoke to my manager. They told him that they are opening up a, a new uh, township for blacks, and they wanted me to go perform there. And I said, well, it could be, yes, a, a good thing, you know, to go and perform there, as, you know, they opening up this new place for blacks, and that was good for us. And I said, yes, I'll go perform there. But what they didn't tell me is that around that area, there's uh, people from the security force. And so when we played there, the people from the security force also came to the show. And I didn't know they are even there. I, I, I never knew they are there. And so we played, and after the show, no problem, everything was cool. It's only that I heard after some time from the summer officers that, you know, they said I played for the security force, which wasn't the right thing. And I told them, look, I, I, I didn't perform for the security force, but I went there because they told me there's this new township that is being opened up for blacks. And no, I didn't go there to play for the... Uh, security force. I mean, it happens, you know, now that the whole world, I mean, the whole of South Africa is upside down. You know, it happens, really, it happens very often. Misunderstanding of everything, it happens. Yeah, you know, a lot of people uh, kind of misunderstand what uh, Mandela stands for in South Africa. And uh, that's why a lot of things, I think, are happening at this time, even things that are unnecessary. You know, like these fights and things that are coming up in Natal. A lot of people say, you know, if Mandela wasn't released, uh, these fights wouldn't be going on and this wouldn't be happening and that wouldn't be happening. But I think it's the wrong thing. That you know, they kind of misunderstanding what he, he stands for. You know, but anyway, we, we, we hope him because he is a very hard-working man. He's very dedicated to, to helping us, you know, and we looking forward to a, a better South Africa and since he's working very hard on it. You know, I think Mandela stands for the right of the black people. Mandela doesn't stand for the killing of black people. Mandela is standing for the upliftment of the black people's right not to destroy the black people as 
it's happening right now. People are destroying each other because maybe of the fact that he's released. That is not what he stands for. I think he's, he stands for the rights of the black people in South Africa. And through him, we can achieve a lot of things that we, we, we wouldn't achieve on our own, you know, as people without him, you know. He, he, knows, he, he knows what he's doing.
died in Shalmine of the group identity. And this is a message to the youth. Please leave drugs alone. They ain't gonna help you. They're gonna just kill you. Listen. Don't smoke that crack, it will make you lose your baby. Don't smoke that crack, it will make you lose your family. Don't smoke that crack, don't do that, don't do that. Hi, I'm the Night Nurse. We're Reggae Strong. As always, thanks for checking in as we come to you from Rocket Rehearsal Studios to bring you the reggae news and reviews. Maxi Priest, the British reggae singer, is currently here at Rocket, gearing up for his Japanese tour. Maxi and his band will be in Japan for 10 days and do six shows. Maxi Priest's next album should be out sometime early June, and he's moving from the Virgin label over to their sister label, Charisma Records. And Maxi Priest was recently in Los Angeles where he shot the first video from the next album of the song Close to You. And following his performance at the Earth Day concert in Washington, D.C., Ziggy Marley is doing a small tour of college dates here in the U.S. Local dates include April 26th at Seton Hall University in South Orange, New Jersey, and then April 27th at Fordham University. This summer, Ziggy will be bringing reggae to the arena level as he's opening for the B-52s on their tour. Toots and the Maytals are currently in the States on a brief little tour, and the official Sunsplash U.S. lineup is Burning Spear, Marcia Griffiths, Freddie McGregor, Shinehead, Shelly Thunder, U-Roy, and the 809 Band. The tour starts mid-May in Hawaii and ends up in New York City in early July. Heartbeat Records, the Boston-based reggae record label, will be sponsoring their very first tour, showcasing artists Sugar Minot, Little John, and Chris Wayne, all of whom will have product out in support of this tour. And the local date for that is May 23rd and 24th at SOB's. And the cool ruler, Gregory Isaacs, is currently on the road in Europe. Radio station WBAI will be broadcasting 24 hours of Bob Marley music on May 27th. That's part of the Memorial Day weekend, so you may want to note that on your calendar now. And Reggae Strong is having our very first party on April 29th. That's a Sunday at Kilimanjaro, and we want you to join us. We'll have special video footage, clips, rare things you've never seen before, a specially produced segment called Black Yahuru Alive, Livicated to Puma Jones, special guests, and just lots of fun. So please come and join us. We can dance and support us. Check us out April 29th, Sunday at Kilimanjaro. Other concerts to take note of on April 25th and 26th, it's the Whalers Band at SOBs. And on April 27th, Ja Levi and the Higher Reasoning will be at Club Paradise. May 8th and 9th, it's a double header with Aini Kamozi and Andrew Tosh at SOBs. And once more, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the great, beautiful, kind, encouraging letters that you send us here at the program. They mean more than you realize. And we ask you to continue sending them. I'm the Night Nurse. We're Reggae Strong. As always, thanks for checking in. And we'll catch you next strong. My name is Batomento. Next strong, our special guest will be Pato Banton. Come down, next strong, rough. I feel like jumping into that pool over there. <laughs> Who do the choreographer your dance is, Lucky? You mean on stage? Yeah. Uh, well, I do it myself and uh, the people I'm with in the band. You know, it's a whole sort of network thing. We're doing everything together because, I mean, I can't do everything on my own. And so uh, the band itself uh, gets involved in whatever we do. And so the choreography, and all that we do together. 
you know, because maybe somebody in the band has got something that he can put into the whole performance and we, we give those people a chance and so the whole thing is done by the band. Yes. We are seeing it now. Hey, Chief. We are spelled as balance. What do they call in your language that sound you make that we can't do who grew up speaking English? Well, um, it's just, uh, it ain't got a special name for it because it's a thing we use in our daily talks, you know. Uh, they call it click uh, or click language or what, but it's just something we use in our daily lives. You know, like, and, and, you know, such things. So those are really like exclamation sounds. They're really part of the language, like we have words in English. Yeah, but they have I mean, sounds. Yeah, I mean, like, I say, Gitela Utolo, which means, excuse me, you know, Gitela Utolo. And. You know, quite a few, you know. If you listen to my kind of reggae, especially live on stage, and I do say play reggae and somewhere put some kind of bakanga feel in it, which is the Zulu feel, like the foot stamping Zulu rhythms, you know, that we have in South Africa. Ah. I just like sometimes to, to put the two together, but not really, you know, but I like to do it mostly on stage, not on record. Well, Lucky, give thanks here, sir. It's a pleasure speaking with the man again for Reggae Strong. I guess you have been able to get the same thing 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 to get the same thing
strong. Nobody can stop the reggae. Nobody. Nobody can stop the reggae. Nobody. 